Hi ladies, I'm back. I am so sorry I'm filming in my car, but I tried to film in the hotel room, but for some reason the quality was coming out really bad. And for some reason my video always comes out low grade anyway. I don't know why I can use an iPhone, it doesn't come out well. I can use my other phone, it doesn't come out well. So, hence I'm in my car so I can have better light. So hi for those of you who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, thank you for coming back. Hi, so today is Tuesday, September 22nd, and it is officially my transfer day. And guess what, y'all? I transferred. I so transferred. I, I cannot believe I transferred. There was a couple bumps along the way, which I'm going to explain to you guys, but I did transfer and I transferred two embryos. So excited about that and praying that there's a lot of sticky baby dust. I'm just, uh, wow. I mean, it's crazy, y'all, because guess what? I'm already eating a pineapple. Already eating a pineapple. You know, I started eating a pineapple actually this morning before I even went for my transfer. And I've been eating a pineapple since. I stopped and got the custom, customary french fries. Um, like I said, I'm throwing everything out this at this that I possibly can. And it was kind of ironic because in my clinic this morning, they were all wearing pineapple t-shirts. And I'm like, oh my God, why are y'all wearing pineapple t-shirts? Well, come to find out there's a girl that's one of my friends on, um, not my friend, but she's on one of the Facebook groups that I'm on. She was doing her IVF today at the same clinic that I was doing my embryo transfer. And um, I guess they were all wearing pineapple shirts as... Um, like a good luck for her i guess she had done so many so they're all just kind of showing support so that was really good so yeah my baby she sleep i told you yesterday she got off at seven o'clock in the morning and she did the ride with me and we just had a busy night and then we were up early today i actually transferred at 9 45 this morning they told me to be at the clinic by 9 30 of course i was there early i was there by like 9 15 and i was the only embryo transfer this morning so that made it even better i didn't have to wait behind anybody because believe me when i tell you i was a pissy mess <laughs> i mean that might be tmi really but they want you to have this four bladder they tell you to drink 32 ounces of water before you go so you can make sure that you have a full bladder and i'm like i knew i was good driving it well i didn't drive there sydney drive there, drove there but driving there i was like okay everything's all good we're good um, everything seemed perfectly fine. I'm like, all right, I'm waiting. I'm signing all my paperwork. Everything's good. As soon as I got up on the table and they pushed that ultrasound wand on my stomach, I was like, I'm going to pee. <laughs> I kept telling them, I'm going to pee. I'm going to pee. And it shouldn't be funny to do your transfer like this. But y'all, I was going to pee. <laughs> so a little bit did come out. And the doctor just had to stop doing what they were doing because actually, literally, like, the catheter was already up I mean, with the embryos in it. But because I peed a little bit, they backed the catheter out. They went to clean me back up, clean my cervix and everything back up. And they put it in. Then we had a successful transfer. Then I laid there for what seemed like a thousand hours, but it was only for about 10 minutes before I could go pee. And when I tell you that was the best pee ever in my life. And the lady was like, you're not going to pee out the embryos. I mean, I knew that. I, I didn't think I would. But, you know, you just get these crazy thoughts in your head. Oh, let me get this so you know. What I'm about to be talking about. Uh, okay. All right. So unprofessional, huh? But, you know. So anyway, as I was telling you in a sneak peek, unfortunately, the embryos that I've been ranting and raving and how good they look and how beautiful, they did not survive the thaw. Here's the messed up part about all that. So I'm like a minute from the doctor's office. My phone rings. I see that it's the doctor's office. And she's like, um, bad news. The embryos didn't thaw. I said, huh? I'm in New Jersey. I drove from New Jersey yesterday. I am a minute from out front of your doc, in front of the offices, ready for this. And you're telling me not neither one of them survived? She said, no. Now she gave me the option of postponing waiting to see if some more embryos came through, um, something like that. Well, I have to be honest with you, ladies. I'm 47. AA embryos, which are African-American embryos, and biracial embryos are very hard to come by. Um, and reason being that they're hard to come by because most of us can't afford it. I mean, let's just get to the, to the nuts and bolts. 
of it. Most African-American people cannot afford IVF. Most of us don't go looking for treatment that there's something wrong with us. So to find AA embryos or biracial embryos is like, yes, yes, yes. And But, you know, I, I see a lot of people, oh, I'm going to inter- adopt this and third. But it makes it hard for us that are African-American to get embryos because they're already going to somebody that, for the most part, can afford them before we can. So what they did is, okay, I don't remember. And if you're new to my channel, you may not know this. And if, and if you've been here a while, you do. But originally when I went to them, they had given me some original embryos. They gave me two chances between some original um, AA African-American embryos. Um, but the grading, well, not really grading because they're not day five. They're all day three. Almost everything at this clinic is day three. But the quality of them um weren't as good as the biracial embryos i was gonna put in the bi biracial embryos were considered great they were considered very very good um so you know we're like yes they're gonna thaw beautifully or we shouldn't have a problem even if just one thaw we were like okay this is gonna be wonderful great well neither thaw so they he said, hey, you can cancel your cycle. Now, mind you, if I canceled the cycle, it still would have been a charge because of everything that they did. So it was lose money and still have a credit there for the next time I want to do it or move on with what was available. So the out of the original two African-American profiles that I had looked at way back in April, May, June time frame, uh, happened to still be available. Um, she said, we can thaw those out, see how they thaw. Um you know, everything would be great. So in that straw, there happened to be three embryos. Um, and they asked me if I wanted to put all three back because the quality or the look of these or quality wasn't as good as the other ones. So they were like, do you want to put all three back to have a better chance? My thought process on that was no. Let me still do two because I know at least with two, one could sick and we could just have this miracle come through um and then Sydney and I sat there and thought about it and we were like well maybe these were the babies that were supposed to be born to begin with maybe these are the ones that you know were fighting for a chance and we were overlooking because they have been frozen for quite some time I want to say these have been frozen 12 years I know they've been frozen for quite some time however with the biracial embryos that we were going to put in originally today the donor mother on that was 30. Um, the husband was 32. They had twins, as I was telling you before. So the donor mother on these was 26. The donor father on these, I want to say was 36. So younger, and older. Um, like I said, the quality didn't look this as well, but... Once they thawed them out and looked at them, they said, actually, they look better than we thought they were going to look. Um, so this is what I put back in today to see it. So these are my beautiful M babies that are on board. And I was disappointed. I'm, I'm not going to tell you I, I fought so hard to get to this point and... I feel like to some level it was a letdown. However, I'm happy to be at this place. I'm happy that with all this journey that we've been through, we finally made it here. And maybe these were meant to be my babies. Maybe the, especially for them to still have the AA embryos. Um, we didn't think they were going to still have them because people call around the clinics all the time, like I did. You call the clinics all the time. Do you have AA embryos? Do you have AA embryos? If you don't have AA, do you have biracial? What do you have? Do the, they are hard to come by. And my first clinic that I was going to go with, which is in North Carolina, they had one AA embryo, one available. You didn't get to pick anything else because that was the one that you got. And the price was like almost $8,000. So I'm like, I'm not giving an option to even putting two back in or something like that because it's just one. You don't got no donor profiles to go through. That was it. Now, my second clinic, which is Derm, they have a double donor program. So, of course, they can come up with more embryos and this, that, and that. But then I didn't like the price point 
for just one embryo either. I just felt like I can't do it. So for all the snags in the road that I had with, you know, having to drive all the way from North Carolina to New Jersey, um, kind of the setbacks, the COVID kind of slowing some things down, just everything. I will just feel fortunate enough to be able to say I am currently poopo or as some people like to say, pregnant and staying pregnant. Either which way, I'm praying to be pregnant and staying pregnant. We will see. Now, I'm be honest with you. Because of the quality of these embryos, if I don't get a positive, I don't think I'll be surprised. And I'm not saying that to be funny. I'm just saying it because these are the same embryos I was questioning. There were so many questions around these embryos. However, I know so many people that had low grade, low quality embryos that produced their child. They did. And I had to say it was worth giving it a shot for the simple fact that I'm 47. How long is it going to take me to find more embryos? And I'm open. I'm open to white embryos. I'm open to black embryos. I'm open to Chinese embryos. I just want to be a mom. But a lot of people shy away from me because I am older. So with that being said, they don't really look at me as a potential recipient. And then I'm a lesbian, so I'm married to a woman. So that also deters a lot of people from looking at me or us as a couple as recipients. So with that being said, I felt like this was a shot that God has given me. It's already in the works. I'm a minute from the clinic. Let's go for it. And like I said, once they thawed the embryos out and to see how beautiful they look, because they even look pretty to me. Like, honestly, they even look pretty to me. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be. And I'm just hopeful. I'll be grateful to get that big fat positive. I will be so grateful because this has been a process. And maybe sometimes God has a bump in the road. So you'll slow down. So it's not always what we plan things to be because my life has never gone as planned. Maybe it's just meant to be when this with these child, children, child might have been meant to be born. So we're going to be on this glorious two week wait. I believe because I'm looking at my paperwork now. I believe that I am scheduled for my HCG test on 10-5. So that's exactly two weeks um, from today. And um, yeah. Yeah. So got all our paperwork. And I actually go into my clinic locally at home on Friday to have another ultrasound done and um I guess just to see if placement to see if they might have went into my oh uh you um why can't I think my fallopian tubes or anything but I know if it was a day five transfer you're supposed to return the day after transfer to have an ultrasound done but on a day three transfer you come back Three days post post transfer. So that's on the 25th. I will go in there to um just get an ultrasound done and some blood work, I guess, to see if my progesterone levels are still good and things like that. So I've got my instruction sheet. So I am definitely ready to go. But I want to let you know, ladies know, I want to thank you guys for doing this journey with me. And I want to thank you guys for just your support. Like I said, I might be a small channel and we're steadily growing. And I want to thank everybody who's new, who did decide to come join my channel. And, you know, we may not be the most fancy one. We may not be, you know, all the bells and whistles, but it's heartfelt. And this is my journey. And this is what I'm going to for my mother, for motherhood. And Anybody else is going through this journey, especially if you're over 40, it's not too late. Um, just do what your heart tells you to do. It is all in how you want to do it, what your plans on, what it is for you. So with that being said, I want to thank you. I'm about to enjoy some more of my time here in New Jersey. We were going to go back tomorrow, but um, my instructions are bed rest today. 
believe it or not. So I'm, I'm not really going to lay around in the bed. We're going to go like visit some family and see some things and relax Um, and then relax tomorrow. <clears throat> and I will probably go home Thursday morning, but I haven't made up my mind yet. Um, just for Sid having to go back to work um, Thursday. So we will just see what happens. But I want to thank you ladies for being with this journey with me. And thank you for sticking by my side. And I look forward to giving you an update soon. And thank you so much. And all well wishes are going to be greatly appreciated. Because I need these babies to stick. They may not have been the prettiest ones. But they might win the race. You know how they say. Slow and steady wins the race. And these might be my slow and steady race winners. So, thank you, ladies. You guys have a great, great rest of your day. And oh, I look forward to hearing from you guys and getting some of your feedback. So, have a great day. Bye.